Hi, this is Glenn Spencer of American Border Patrol bringing you another weekly podcast. This week we're going to be talking about border technology. Land. Mike, we, when we talk about border technology, what is it that we mean when we, we talk about border technology? Is it stuff that, that is used to detect and track or identify people? What, is it, what, what, is, what are we talking about? Exactly. Um, on the border, the, the problem is pe people right. coming across a border. And so what we've done, or what is being done, is utilizing available technologies that are currently out there. UAVs, cameras, sensors, and aircraft. Okay. And that's, that's ultimately what they've thrown at the border up to this point to try to detect all these people. Right. And in some cases, radar. Yes, radar as well, yes. Okay. Uh, you mentioned sensors. What do we mean? We've heard a lot about sensors. Yeah, there are different kinds of sensors. What's the most popular, what, what's the sensor that's most used on the border? The most popular sensor right now and the most used is the geophone. Basically, this little device right here, uh, the universal, through all the sensors that are out there, uh, ground it. sensors. This that is, is the sensor this right is there. It. This is ultimately the sensor that starts it all. And it's just a little magnet moving in a coil of wire, and it creates a little bit of electricity when it's vibrated. So okay. if somebody's walking, a very small signal gets to this. We take that, you amplify it, and then you analyze that signal and decide whether or not it's a disturbance worthy of alerting somebody effectively. So you've developed and applied different types of sensors, uh, camera systems, and different types of controls. You've developed unmanned aerial vehicles. I understand you've also flown in fixed-wing aircraft. Now, what's the latest thing that uh, Border Technology has come up with and what you're working on now? Well, it's something that we, we had approached several years ago um, that uh, we decided not to use, um, and then we revisited it. And basically, getting back to sensors. And Ground sensors. Yes. Um, like we talked about earlier, Having one sensor on the ground gives you about a 30-foot radius. Well, what we found is if you have a network of sensors, you can get a lot more range out of it, but you can cover a lot more area. So what we did is we decided to come up with a linear sensor array that could stretch up for thousands of miles if you want to, because they could just they just connect together thousands of miles, and we created a seamless um, barrier against people coming in. We can detect anybody crossing that for thousands and thousands of miles. Are they, are they good for 30 feet? No. What we found in this network is having several sensors gives you a huge leg up. We were surprised when we first started using this when we were detecting out, outwards of 300 yards. Um, 300 yards? Yes. That's which, almost 1,000 feet. Yes. So in the same thing we did with this by developing tactics with the UAV, we realized that this would change the tactics of border security on the U.S.-Mexico border. See, if we put this sensor line close to the border fence, we could detect them in Mexico, and we could deter now, instead of just c capture. This is a theory, but did you actually test it out? We have, we don't, uh, the current system we have right now is a half-mile stretch. You installed a half-mile of this on the border? Yes, we are about 250 yards from the border. 